Good morning. The zombie forecast just came in and it's calling for some relatively tame zombies today relative to what we've been experiencing before. We're on walking speed on adventurer difficulty. We have a little bit higher than normal block damage and screamers might be a factor today. So essentially heat is going to build up a little bit more quickly. So if we're going to do some mining or something like that, we'll have to keep our eyes peeled. The first thing I want to start off with this morning is getting some gasoline out of this old pickup truck here. Ah, geez, only 117 off of that combined with the couple hundred that I had in storage. Let's try this one. Also, only 81 off of the police cruiser there. Okay, well, let's put away the junk that we gathered up there. Oh, level six battery. That can go straight to the trader, I think. And we're at 3% currently. Let's see what we can get up to here. 13%. Okay, so that's just about enough gas to get to Joel's and maybe back. I'm not entirely sure. Let's take a look at the map, though, and see where our questing will take us today. First to the burnt biome, and then secondly out to the west. That's four jobs in total. We need to knock all four of those out. We've done three already, so that'll be the seven, and we should get our tier reward. All right, well, I'm going to leave the lawnmower here. I'm going to stockpile fuel for a little while, and I'll just hoof it through to the burnt biome, and I'll meet you there. You know, I'll be honest with you, I kind of miss the old days when you could throw a spear. Not that I would, I just miss the fact that I could do it. All right, so as we're rolling back up in here, by the way, I did find a new spear on the way over, a level three stone spear. I also made myself some padded armor last night and I took off the scrap armor to run over here a little bit more quickly. So toss that back on and here we go. Now, the zombies should have mostly cleared out of here. I can see a few of them, but the big infestation that was here the other day, that has probably moved on, it looks like. All right, we'll start by searching the mail up here. Always a good chance to get some books and such. Not today, it looks like. All right, let's get an idea of how the regulars are acting here. <laughs> Very weak, it looks like. Oh, that feels good, though. All right, medical journal there. And uh, which one was our quest here? It's uh, just on the end of town on the right over there, behind the creamery. Yep, that's the one right there. I'm just going to search up these newspaper stands five in a row. Got a machine gunner book off of that one, a couple of books in that one. Go through them here in just a second. And the mailbox here, scrapping for fun. Just take right care of you. And what did we get for books there? Night Stalker, 50%. Extra sneak damage at night. AP 9 mil ammunition. Puffer coats. Automatic weapons do 10% more damage. Very nice. And we are suddenly just full of crap. And a second ago, I did stash all of my stuff into a V and marked it on the map and I'd like to do the same thing here can I just pack the mailbox full of <laughs> rotten flesh and sham sandwiches and yep probably do the same thing on this one over here just for now and probably forget about it but <laughs> someday I'll remember it and come back for it nothing important anyway where's the quest marker here anyway oh, that reminds me I probably I shouldn't have that stuff in the mailbox if I'm gonna hit a quest marker there it is let's hit it check the mailbox again this time just paper again <laughs> sham sandwiches and rotten flesh inside please okay you know what I I'm really not feeling the whole crawl here let's just get in get the zombies out and kill them all Yes, and for goodness sake, keep an eye out for food. I'm still very hungry, even though I ate five charred meats this morning. And a level as well. Nice. We're on a roll now. Let's see, I've been taking points mostly just into perception to help with headshot damage and such. And that trend will continue, at least for now. Let's just go right up to five. Oh, definitely. We need to focus on cloth a little bit. Make sure we have plenty of that. The padded armor that I crafted, it kind of burns right through it. And finally, I think we're heading upstairs. Big fire in this place, so... I'm looking for burnt zombies, mostly. Oh, watch the floor as well. Oh, geez. Here they are. Too easy. And then on to the attic, I think. Where the main loot is. Nice. Guarded by War Machine here. War Machine probably seen some better days in his life. What do we got in the main chest here? Some more peas? Good. And that was actually some padded gloves, which would be an upgrade for me. Some first aid. We gotta start stocking up on that. I have one regular bandage on me right now. And, well, nothing good in there. Some dog food if you felt so desperate to eat it. Right, that's it for this quest. One down, three to go for today. The problem now is encumbrance. It's getting bad. Grab up what I can here, and what I'll do is I'll just set down a chest and deposit some of this stuff in here for later. Have some peas and we're on the road again. What about this burnt cafe here? I could have some food and drink in it. Ah, there is some food back here. Oh, now we got some cat food, which we'll mix that in with the dog food, right? <laughs> and we do have this locked 
safe here. Yeah, I guess I, we got some time. It's still early, 7 a.m. I'll crack into it. We're in. What kind of a waste of time was that? Well, a cripple a mod. Definitely not the worst thing you could find in there. All right, here we go. We've got one kilometer to go to get to Joel's and then probably another one and a half kilometers after that to get to those quests that are out there. I don't even think we'll stop by Joel, so just head straight to the west. Okay, looks like we're coming up on our first quest on the way through and there's like a camper here. Is, is that it? What is this place anyway? Um, according to the map, there's a cave nearby, right? That must be the mushroom mining cave. I do recall seeing that, but first I'm gonna check out what's in this RV here. Someone had the idea. Oh, Shady Slaughter RV, right. Someone came up here to, you know, escape the apocalypse, I guess. Hey, puffer coat. And um, I don't know, I guess we'll have to see what happened to him. This is probably the explanation right here. There's another one right there. And I think I found number three. The question really is, did they have any food? They did. They also had some books. Hello. Seasick dog in the back here. And a loot bag. Ililiana over here. No loot bag toilet paper instead. Anything good for food? More cat food. My goodness, I'm gonna get sick eating all this stuff. I got another can right here. Home cooking weekly, and I've picked up two vehicle adventures in my travels today, putting us up to four. I do think that focusing on vehicle adventures and crafting vehicles is gonna be very important for us here in Navas Gain. Oh my god, a college jacket. What a good find that was, and a whole handful of food there as well. In fact, we're not even hungry anymore. We are good to go. But as I was saying there, you know, this is not Europe where everything is tightly packed in and condensed and everything's within walking distance. This is basically stereotypical America where everything is like miles apart. This kind of like rural Navasgain County here. So in other words, we're gonna need some wheels and we're gonna need them fast. I'm not talking about the lawnmower either. We're gonna need like a legit motorcycle, four by four or something that flies even soon. All right, tier one clear, let's hit that. And for probably the fourth time today, <laughs> set down a storage somewhere to stash all of my stuff so I'm not too encumbered for this. All right, let's do this. Yeah, the good news is if the name checks out, Mushroom Mining Co. We should be able to get some mushrooms out of here. Aha, there we go. Good thing I had this burning shaft though, because otherwise visibility would be zero down here. We do, kind of scattered around here, have these lanterns. I'm curious if I can, I, I can take the lantern. Can I actually set the lantern down though? And then, does it work when I set it down or? It does. Okay, interesting. I can bring some of those home for the base then. Give me, also, Take that torch. You okay back there, Mo? You need some help? Here, there you go. <laughs> Ow, crap. Building materials in here, too. Just try not to chop a finger off in the dark. And just like that, we're on to the main loot. What do we get here? Yeah, okay, I'll take the wood splitter mod. Not too bad. And... Uh, Couple of wiring books, also not too bad. So wood splitter mod onto the hatchet and rad remover onto the level one primitive bow because that makes a lot of sense, right? Okay, we are definitely done here. The quest is over. Let's head topside. Okay, the next quest is just across the lake here. I figured probably the fastest way to get there is straight across. And also we can check out whatever this little wharf here is. Doesn't look like much, honestly. Couple of zombies here, maybe? Razor 21 holding down the fort here all by himself. Oh, a passing gas box though. That is a good find. Toolbox, another toolbox. Okay. Toolbox number one, repair kit, paintbrush. I usually just sell those paintbrushes early on. Passing gas box. Good for vehicle adventures. Nice. And that unlocked the bicycle and wheels as well. All right. Directly straight ahead is our destination. I'll meet you over there. And here we are. It took a long time to get here too, so hopefully it's worth it. Test out my archery skills here this morning. Could, could use some work, I would say. Right, let's hit it. This is a cool place. Is this unlocked? Nice. Okay, some food. Camp car wall. Right. Oh, they were farming here. I like that. And they had a dew collector as well. I'll check that in just a second here. Make sure the place is safe. Oh, you could... We could have lived here. This place is cool. Check that dew collector. Might get lucky. Well, forge ahead is not bad. It's like a 0.25% chance you get a filter off of that, save yourself some coin. What do you think the chances are that Camp Carwall had a guard dog? Extra engine there, that's good to find. Okay, little hydroponic setup there, cool. Got a ham radio in the back. Any manuals on how to use it? Well, some manuals for something. And a structural brace bunt schematic. 
you know, someday I'll get a workbench and I'll have a look at all the mods I've unlocked so far. I wish these old rusty barrels had a little bit more fuel in it. 29 fuel is not even 1%, you know, on the gas tank. Even for a an old lawnmower, which is actually relatively fuel efficient compared to some other vehicles. Lock picks in the toolbox. Good, get a little stockpile of those going on. What's the deal here? Ah, uh, oh, I see. Aha, zombie bird. All right, up and down and across, and this should be... Probably the main spot. Okay, ladder going down as well. Who's around the corner here? Hello, Kenny D. And inside the trailer, another trailer. We're, we're just looting trailers. Trailers and caves today. <laughs> oh, nice one, Tommy. Okay, down we go. This should be the end right here. But wait a minute. Who's waiting in there is the question. Couple of guys, whoop. Make, make that zero, guys. Here we go, main loot chest. Pipe pistol, shot, oh, crap. I missed one. Oh, she was hiding behind the boxes over here, wasn't she? Some first aid here. Oh, come on with the first aid. Can I just have like a regular old bandage? How about some food at least? More cat food. I should get a cat apparently. And just some liquor shelves in the back for some beer and, oh, hang on a second. We got a sneaky pile of medicine over here. There we go, regular first aid bandage. Nice, and we're done here. And this is the last stop for today, Ranger Station Delta. Let's hit the quest and I'm very encumbered. I'm just gonna proceed though. I don't expect to be in too dicey of a situation here. All right, where is everybody? Someone's in the back. Whoa, scratch that. They are in the back. Give you a couple of jumping stabs. How did you survive that? My goodness. Oh, hey, check that out, a bicycle chassis there. All right, all clear in the shed, although it does look like we're heading up. Oh, wouldn't that be cool if this was like full of fresh water for us to drink? Or if this was full of gasoline for us to pump into a vehicle? I guess we can check the back over here. 26 and 21. Not even worth the time it took to open those containers, if you ask me. Okay, looks like we're going over, across. Yep, and into the station itself, into the tower, and... This looks like a bad floor, if I <laughs> if I had to guess. Oh, right, they can just crawl right straight up here. Not gonna do you any good, guys. Not today, at least. Back down there with ya. How are you so strong? Get down there. Okay, what do we got down here anyway? Purse? Medicine? Ammo? Two shotgun rounds, whoop de doo And, uh, craft exploding arrows and crossbow bolts, okay. In the car parts box, another wheel. So we're, we're really only handlebars away from being able to craft our own bicycle. <sighs> of course, you would need a workbench for that, which I, I, that's kind of weird, right? Right, well, we're done here. Okay, now we just have an extremely long walk home. Holy crap. What is this whole horde of zombies doing over here? Uh, let's see, uh, what can I do here? I can use the vehicle to stash some stuff and I need to get myself some XP while I can. Yeah, cause we're completely encumbered. Let's just solve that problem real quick. There we go. All right, and I did see that I had some steroids back there. Well, we'll take those when we're done. For now, we got some heads to split. That's it, one loot bag. You guys are pathetic. Yep, there it is right there. Okay, you're not terrible though. Grab up, well, at least most of my goodies here. Here, we don't need any more goldenrod. We'll be making some red tea from now on. Okay, and then like I said, we will do steroids and we'll do the long hike home. Well, the, the long hike to Trader Joel's at least. And I'll kill every zombie I see along the way. Okay, finally made it. That wasn't too bad at all. Only took a couple minutes and I've got a couple of boxes scattered around everywhere. We'll just have to pick those things up at a later time. Let's go get our rewards now. Trader Joel, buddy. What do you got for me? We should have a whole bunch of rewards here today. Toss up between the magazine bundle and 762, but I'll pretty much always go toward the crafting skill magazine bundle. 10 Molotovs would be nice, especially for Horde Knight, but again, 
Uh, in this case, I'll mix it up. <laughs> we'll take the Molotovs. And, uh, geez, I was looking for a helmet flashlight, buddy. But, um, yep, this time, definitely gonna go with the magazine bundle. And for number four... Yeah, we got the Molotovs. I'll take the glue. And then... Ah, uh, helmet light mod schematic. We, we need a workbench anyway. I'll take the bicycle. Special jobs. Southeast. Trader Jen. We'll go pay her a visit sometime. More jobs. Okay, no, he's only given us the tier ones. We'll wait until tomorrow to pick up some tier twos. What about your inventory? He's got the same stuff that he's always had. Maybe I will go check on Trader Jen. Oh, look, we got a ton of money now too. Nice. Yeah, let's go pay a visit to Jen then today and pick up that little bit of XP and see if she has a helmet flashlight. Bicycle down, bundles open, and we got nothing good out of those bundles. I'll read them all just the same. Pack up the bicycle as much as I can, grab everything else except for one corn seed, and we're off. Oh my goodness, I just found looting goggles. What a good find that is. Get rid of the rotten flesh, toss those immediately onto my head, and it uh, looks like we're heading, or it looks like we're coming up on Jen's little oasis here. She uh, must have had sprinklers going when the big forest fire went through here because her compound is pristine. Look at this. All right, clear out the riffraff. Lisa D over here. Goodbye. And oh my God, my steroids wore off and I am very heavy right now. Anything I can put in here? No, of course not. All right, I guess we're just walking slow. Let's see if I can sell a couple of things here just to offload. All right, a little spend. bit of XP and uh, anything I can buy here. First and foremost, helmet, no, crap. All right, well, at least take some of this brass and you know, some of these knickknacks off my hands, please. Bicycle chassis, sure. Agility goggles, yep. From Jenny, we will be taking the first aid bandages. That's gonna come in real handy once the, uh, the virus starts evolving up a little bit again. Some rifle magazines. Gasoline. Tempting. Very, very tempting. I think we probably should go home with a couple of water filters though, just so that we can get started on murky water production. Take two of those. I Otherwise, I'm all set. Like. All right, well, I could go through her whole compound and, and search every little thing, but I'm simply not in the mood right now. I wanna go home and get rid of some of this inventory stuff. I guess I'll check the ambulance here for a plaster cast. I hope I'll never need that. And when I do need it, it'll be in a storage box miles away. <laughs> okay, we're packed away. We're home safe and sound. Let's get started on industry stuff. We're gonna need fresh water, red tea, and geez, I still can't make anything decent for food except perhaps boiled meat. Probably have to get a few of those going. What's the status on the dew collector? We are short just duct tape to get our first one. And we have these lanterns. We have several different options as well. So we get these ones that are like on a spike here, on a nail, and the ones that are sitting on the ground. And then there are some variants that are like suspended from the ceiling. <laughs> just, these put off like zero light, don't they? Uh, whatever. I'm just gonna toss them up around here wherever, all willy-nilly like. Not half bad. I mean, someday maybe I'll organize it a little bit better. We, you know, we've got to dedicate a whole day to base construction, probably by like the end of the week, I would say. This will probably last us a couple more days, but, um, you know, we'll see how it goes tonight. It, but the zombies are gonna be a little bit soft tonight, so if we get a forecast for like terrifying zombies, we might just have to say, you know what? This day, we're just gonna build. But I do wanna get some of this crap out of the way down here. Vehicles, garbage, and we also need a little bit more polymer. We'll see if we can get that. Okay, and I got the polymer for the second dew collector and those are finished crafting. Now, I don't predict that we'll have issues placing these down outside. So I think this will do right here. Two fresh two by two dew collectors. <laughs> that rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Okay, what else do we need to work on here today? We need to work on uh, lights would be nice. We could turn that one on. It's a little flickery, but I'll take it. We also need to just beef up the position a little bit for tonight. We're not going to deviate. Just going to do pretty much the same thing that's worked for us so far, but we're just going to make sure it's all upgraded to cobblestone this time. Get some of this crap out of the way too. Good to go. And while I have a minute here and I'm just crafting up some writable storage containers, might look and see if there's just anything I can craft that's an upgrade, like my stone axe. No, my primitive bow. No, my stone spear. No, man, I'm doing terrible. 
Okay, in that case, we need to spend more skill points. One more into Spear Master. Really just need to focus on this so that there's a stamina reduction, increased damage, so that when the zombies are more difficult, we are in a position where we can fight them better. And to go along with that, probably one into Quick and Perceptive. And other than that, I'm gonna go back over to Intellect. Seeing how Intellect governs your bartering, your trader stuff, your first aid, your base defenses, and your vehicles, we're just gonna have to focus some skill points over here. There's no getting around it. And we got the nerdy glasses now, so we have a little bit of a head start there. This is just awful. I've got like all of my crafting stuff right immediately adjacent to the fighting position. That that's gonna it's gonna change. We can't we can't do that long term for sure. But um <laughs> for now, I don't really know where I wanna like have all of the the crafting stuff and whatnot. I guess what is this? Oh, it's brick. Okay, that's that's a tough tough to carve through all of that we could do this as like our crafting room back here but for a while there I was kind of thinking to have that as the the fighting area back here kind of looking this way hmm okay well for now it doesn't matter just put some stuff up there it'll be safe there's a screamer here <laughs> just this little bit of heat here we've generated a screamer okay just get ready for that then yeah she ought to come right up the spiral staircase and then we can just ambush her what if I just made a little bit of noise here is that gonna draw her up? No, I'm pretty sure she's trapped behind the fence over there somewhere. Whoop! And she screamed. I mean, it's almost horde night. I guess we could just get into position a little bit early. Yep, let's do this. We need the XP anyway. The zombies are as easy as they'll come. We will fight screamers. We will fight screamer hordes and we will fight the regular horde. And we will hope that we level up in the process. Let's do this. Ah, see, Killer Joe there just smacked the staircase. Now he's all confused. What's wrong with you guys? Come on up here. You're messing stuff up. Yep, here comes another crew, and there's the Screamer. Okay, we can just take care of her. Oh, look at this whole pile of zombies here. Just get a Molotov down there for them. That's perfect. Let them burn. I hear loot bags as well. Oh, everyone just burnt out all at the same time. <laughs> Got a skill point too. Nice. Yeah, we can use some of our 9 mil. This is no big deal at all. They're working their way in here. I wonder how many we're gonna get tonight. I think last time we had about four at a time, but it lasted for a couple of hours there. This time, probably gonna be significantly worse. They're just gonna be significantly slower. No shortage of bodies clogging up the spiral staircase. Look at the mess here, it's crazy. Okay, we are now in something of an emergency mode because the zombies did end up clawing out one of the sections of the spiral staircase there. So in that case, oh, and look at that one, almost destroyed. Okay, so I spoke way too soon on that front. I don't think that the spiral staircases are viable because the zombies, they just want to beat on everything most of the time. Stupid zombies. Okay, here's my idea. We're gonna bring them in from outside somewhere. Okay, I think I've, I've worked it out for the most part. Just gonna, come on, come on, let me up here. Ah, uh, come up here and then pull that. And fixed. Yes, we did it. I'll probably have to go out there and fix it again though. If they start thrashing around on the bottom rung of ladder, which is just regular plywood board. Okay, stamina. Do we need water? We need water. Good. We're back in business here and it's actually busier than ever. Okay, that was the last zombie that I can hear. Is that like the end of the horde or the end of the wave? Just wait it out for a second and see what happens. I think that does it. That was actually a pretty big horde. I mean, look at all of the zombies that we've killed here. We've got a bunch of loot bags down there as well. All right, we'll just cautiously hop down here. Yeah, it looks like we have five and I picked up one or two that were kind of out and about while I was running around trying to figure things out. Oh, good stone ax there and some food, nice. Okay. First aid and some sham and vehicle adventures, can of pasta, brass for selling, and 556. Yeah, we should be able to find a 556 weapon here at some point, as well as, you know, there are all kinds of weapons to be found around here. I just haven't seen any yet, but we're getting there. Okay, so that definitely highlights some glaring vulnerabilities here at the base, although I am pleased with how this held up here. So they were just like climbing on top of this and then working their way up and over and down. 
I kind of think this could work ultimately. What if we brought them up to here and then had a little skinny thin corridor that led up to a fighting position right there, you know? And then we did that at like multiple stages along the way. You think that could work? Yeah, I mean, we've got three windows. One, two, three. We could do a ladder up to all three of them. A fighting position across from all three of them. It would just require some demo work, but I've got nothing else to do tonight. And I've got the new level five stone ax to do it with. Then we could like put some bulletproof glass in. So it was like a, like a secluded shop back here. Oh, I'm kind of liking the sound of this already. All right, well, it's gonna require a ton of demo work. Let's begin. That did it. I was wondering what was holding that up, and for some reason it was a lantern. Okay. Well, that's progress. Yeah, they did knock out that fire trap down here last night too, so, you know, that was fun while it lasted, but ultimately I don't think it's gonna hurt us to not have it anymore. Okay, what's holding all this junk up here? All right, whoop, that's it right there. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm just gonna knock that one piece out and we'll call it a day. It just did cross over into morning. It's a new day, we'll have to check the forecast and see what's what, and we'll have to get a new fighting position built before tomorrow night. But anyway, my friends, thank you very much for joining me on my adventure today, and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.